My Ba's tongue was not partial concerning their opposition to bribery. I opened my mouth to my Ba so that I might answer what he had said. You are much against me today, whereas you have not quarreled with me before. I am not exaggerating. It is like I am ignored. So do not depart me. Attend to me in this. Do not depart me on this day of suffering. Look, my Ba misleads me, but I will not listen. My Ba drags me, but I will not go along with it. It casts me on the fire. Ba, be near me on the judgment day. Be my advocate. Say this one goes forth because he has brought himself. My Ba is ignorant about easing life's misery, yet still restrains me from death. Sweeten the West for me. Is that so difficult? Life is a transitory state. Even trees must fall. It tramples on evil, yet ignores my misery. So let Thoth judge me and sate the gods. Let Konzu defend me as a true scribe. Let Ra command the ship of the sun to hear me. Let Izdes purify me in the hall of judgment, because my burdens weigh heavy on the scale. So it is sweet for the gods to rend secrets from this ket, this body. Then my Ba said this to me. Are you not a man? I am. Are you not worthy of living? God's willing, but no. What profit is there in worrying about your worth, in the way nobility worries about wealth? I said, I will not depart this, nor neglect the West. If you flee, you will not be cared for, like a prisoner saying, though you die, I will remember your name. That place is attractive to my ib, my heart. The West is my home. If my Ba would listen without the figure of prejudice, my Ib agrees. He shall succeed. I shall make him reach the West like one whose pyramid still stands over his grave. I will make a shelter over your corpse, such that you will be the envy of lesser Ba. I will make your shelter cool, such that you will be the envy of a Ba that is hot. I will raise my shoot, my shadow, and drink water at the pond, so that you will be the envy of a hungry Ba. If you hold me back in this unworthy form, you will not find your place in the West. Be patient, my Ba, my brother, until I am born anew. That man will stand by the tomb and be respectable in the West. My Ba opened his mouth to me to answer what I said. If you mention your sick heart, it brings tears to my eyes, as though I made you miserable by throwing you in the canal. Thus, you will not see the light of the sun. But those who built granite halls, beautiful and sturdy pyramids, when the builders become gods, their scepters are destroyed, like lesser men who died in the canal, carried off by the floods, burned by the sun, and their corpses chatting with the fishes through wet lips. Listen to me. Look. It is good to listen to people. Enjoy the day and forget worries. I recall a peasant once plowed his plot of land and loaded his harvest into a boat. He tows the boat and sails near his produce. He watched the boat as the sun came and went. He recalls that his wife and child met misfortune in this lethal canal of the east. When he met his end, he said, I do not weep for that mother, because she passed by the West. I am concerned for her children who were killed young, before they were worthy. Now, I recall a commoner who requested to raise his status. His wife said to him that they will throw a feast. He went outside to scatter seed at the estate. When he returned, he was like a different person. His wife pleaded with him, but he did not listen. He was changed badly and disappointed the judges and bystanders. Do you understand what I'm telling you? 
I opened my mouth to my soul that I might answer what he said. My name reeks through you more than the smell of bird droppings on a hot summer day. My name reeks through you more than a haul of catfish on a hot summer day. My name reeks through you more than the ducks gathered in the reeds. My name reeks through you more than fishermen coming back from the marsh. My name reeks through you more than an unworthy man. My name reeks through you more than an adulterous woman. My name reeks through you more than a bastard child. My name reeks through you. More than rebellious citizens planning a coup. Whom can I talk to today? Brothers are evil and friends do not love each other. Whom can I talk to today? Hearts are greedy and everyone steals from each other. Whom can I talk to today? Kindness has vanished, everyone is rude to each other. Whom can I talk to today? People are content with evil, cast goodness on the ground. Whom can I talk to today? Wrongdoers who should enrage make people laugh instead. Whom can I talk to today? Yesterday is not remembered. People do not help those who helped them. Whom can I talk to today? Faces are blank and turned away from their brothers. Whom can I talk to today? I am laden with misery for lack of an intimate friend. Death is in my sight today, a cure to a sick man. Death is in my sight today, like the smell of myrrh, like the smell of lotus flowers. Death is in my sight today, like a man longing to see home after years of imprisonment. So surely there is someone in the West who is worthy by virtue of being purified of defects. Surely there is someone in the West who boarded the ship of the sun by virtue of bribery to the temples. Surely that someone in the West would not reject being petitioned by Ray. My boss said to me, Set mourning aside. You belong with me. You are my brother. Throw your burdens on the fire. This struggle to be worthy as you've said. Love me here and forget about the West. Rest assured, I wish that you reach the West, that your body lands and I may rest. But when you are outcast, we shall make a home together.